Okay, my friends, I sincerely hope that Katie Hunt will get through to me, or I can get through to her. They, they have a new series, apparently, Wonder Theory, from CNN. Welcome to your weekly space and science digest. Many people are familiar with the African roots of the human family tree. That's what's supposedly the theory. In recent years, however, a torrent of exciting fossils and DNA discoveries across Asia has forced a radical rethink of our family saga. Well, what about across North America? It's there that entire new kinds of extinct humans have been unearthed. Same here, including relatives nicknamed Tiny Hobbits and the Burly Dragon Man, as well as three little pigs painted on a cave wall that turned out to be the world's oldest figurative art. This week, prepare to have your mind blown by another tantalizing fossil find from the region that reveals just how sophisticated and knowledgeable our ancient ancestors really were. We are family. CNN, I'd love to be part of this. All right, this is not just space, but that's a good place to start. They're talking about all of our ancient origins. I, I'm deep into that, very, very deep. And um, they're looking at the tools these prehistoric surgeons used and how sophisticated they really were. And there was a lot of uh, technology back then. There was a lot of alchemy and a lot of uh, metallurgy. And um, they were making weapons and doing all kinds of forging. And, you know, they, they knew how to work with the materials at hand. Um, scientists uh, in the United Kingdom created synthetic mouse embryos. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Defying gravity, what's going on with NASA and what's going on there. Store gazing, whatever that means. This is a big gigantic iceberg that they think could fall into the ocean, raising the levels. And we dive into these engrossing stories. That's what I want. Giant space tarantula. Waste not. Human poop is a vastly untapped resource. Did you enjoy the newsletter? Yes, I did, and I would like to be part of it, CNN. Please. Thank you.